It takes about 15 to 20 seconds to put the Animax on. First you put the Spiro set on for ventilation. Set the patient's head on the overstretched pillow. The mask's hoops are hooked into the overstretched pillow to fix the mask securely. Then you put the Animax on the person's body. While the cardiac massage is already taking place, you put the patient valve into the ventilation mask. Animax operates according to the current guidelines, alternating 30 cardiac massages and two ventilations. The pressure depth and the ventilation volume adjust themselves depending on the patient's chest size. Animax is adjustable in height and width by pushing the buttons on the grip. The portal frame adjusts itself symmetrically. That is why the device aligns itself with the center of the body. If you release the buttons, the portal frame locks in the momentary position. The mask's fixing device spiro set consists of an overstretch pillow, a facial mask, and the mask's straps. The spiro set is snapped into the mask's outer rim, while the straps are attached to the rim. The mask is placed on the face and the straps are hooked into the supports located on the overstretch pillow. The hooks are rotatable so that the stretching of the straps automatically adjusts appropriately. You find the pressure point by the breadth of two fingers above the sternum. The rotatable pressure stamp has an extension of also the breadth of two fingers. If the stamp's edge and the sternum meet, the pressure position is correct. When the device touches the chest, the resuscitation can begin. The user merely needs to activate a lever. Compared to regular manual resuscitation, this means a great physical relief for the user. The alternation between the cardiac massage and the ventilation happens automatically. In addition, during ventilation, the user feels a stronger pressure on the lever, which makes the user intuitively slow down the ventilation. The quick mechanical alteration during resuscitation with Animax is decisive for its efficiency. There is no interruption in the procedure which leads to more compression.